in a world for friends one mission to bring freedom to everyone involved dude what the fuck are you doing I'm doing the thing for the podcast you just say the name <sighs> fine it's the freedom friends podcast <laughs> What's going on, everybody? It is, once again, your favorite time of week. It is the Freedom Friends Podcast coming at you not even close to live. Go ahead, Jess. <laughs> From the Warfighter Tobacco Studios. <laughs> How the fuck are you, fine gentlemen? I love Mondays. I get yeah. a drink. I have an excuse. Right. Yeah, right? Like, yeah. I have like, to drink. Yeah. It's Monday. It's Dude, Monday like, night. I'm going to drink. I fucking look forward to Mondays Yeah, because yeah. of this show. Yeah. I know, right? Yeah, I look forward great. to Mondays. I, ne- I finally found the one thing on the planet that makes Monday agreeable. Freedom. <laughs> yeah. Freedom. The only problem with it is, is that it does make Monday at work feel even longer. Yeah. Because it's like, I have to get through this, and then I get to go fuck around and smoke and drink with my buddies, right. but I have to get through all of this <laughs> oh, first. Speaking of drinking, what the so, fuck is I know you're behind the power what curve here, Sam. How dare you, sir? Yeah. Sorry, While we're on the right subject, back. what are we drinking tonight, boys? Oh, it's one of my favorites. One of my favorites. I'm a big fan too, man. So it's a nice, I, nice Irish whiskey, uh, Green Spot. Uh, how Green Spot got uh, introduced to me is I was in Nicaragua, getting drunk with an Irishman, uh, drinking Jameson, and he kind of gave me the. Ugh. And I'm like, oh, well, you're from fucking Ireland. What the fuck do you like to drink? You he know, and he's like, bo- uh, he must be a bougie Mick. He's like, uh, you need to see. He's like, you need to try green or yellow spot. I'm like, fuck, never yellow spot's all right. Yeah, and uh, so I picked up a bottle, and it's uh, it's definitely something I uh, treat myself with every now and then. So I want to believe that on inventory sheets somewhere, when that shit's being ordered, it just says G spot. <laughs> <laughs> yes, agreed. Like it's got to, yeah, right? Yeah. I'd like to. I'd like to it's got believe to. in somebody my heart. Of somewhere hearts. has to do it this <laughs> way. <laughs> somebody has to be done this way. Just well, so yeah. they could be like, hey, uh, I know can it you hits send me mine. six G spots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, case, I think we're. I think we're all drinking the same thing, man. We're all drinking. Green yeah, spot. I'm drinking a uh, green spot, which I hadn't had till uh, you had it yeah? here a couple weeks ago. Nice. That was my first I'm drinking. Uh, to it. Yeah, the green spot, and then I got a backup of uh, some coffee. There you go. There you go. Can't go wrong there. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. So, uh, I would like to know, Scott. Yes. How the fuck was your weekend, sir? My weekend? Uh, it was good. Went to a uh, friend's birthday party. I had a good time there. Uh, outside of that, uh, oh, actually, my uh, it was one of my, my boy's birthday. He turned 14. It's actually today, but we kind of celebrated yesterday on Sunday and uh, went uh, went out to a Japanese steakhouse. Got to love him. Nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Which one did you go to? Uh, we went to, I knew you were going to ask. Uh, <laughs> shit. It, it, uh, in San Antonio? I don't it was in San Antonio. I don't okay. recommend going to any restaurant called Shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was better was than that. Dinner? Shit. <laughs> they, they, oh, they, how was it? They had some great right. sushi, <laughs> too. Is so. I? Right. Right. One bad. Yeah. It That's was. Okay. It's not the worst shit I've ever had, but it's not the best shit I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> it's just kind of shit. Just some shit. <laughs> Okay, I don't remember. Yeah, yeah, no big deal. Kobe's. Kobe's. Kobe's? Yeah, Kobe's, oh, Kobe's, Kobe's give us money. Good. Yeah. Kobe, yeah. <laughs> it was actually close to your house, yeah. That's yeah, where restaurant. I with that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> restaurant. I caught it. I caught it. I, see, I smelled you stepping in. <laughs> yeah, restaurant or basketball player. I'll take either one. <laughs> yeah, right. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what we meant by put Kobe in your mouth. Jazz. <laughs> Fucking A, dude. That dude's got... I, I, I'll take one of those diamonds. Doesn't bother me. <laughs> you know, some 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 black mamba. Yeah, dude. Some of that Look, that one chick at the hotel mouse. gave him a squeezer and got like a twenty two million dollar ring or something yeah, right? out of it. So what? Yeah. just saying. I, you're no, saying I'm you wouldn't fucking jerk off Kobe road. Bryant for a twenty million dollar diamond? And all yes, he had please. to do was change yeah. his number and fucking hey. Yeah. Number eight was the rapist. Twenty four has just got a great fucking you know <laughs> yeah. he's just a good solid guy. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hey, dude. Fine like, gentleman. Just saying. I will I would totally rub one out for him. For fucking fuck a million dollars. Yeah, just give me a mil. 
fucking I'll sit there and keep eye contact the whole time. Yeah, for a million fucking dollars. No, I will give you the sloppiest, <laughs> grossest hand job. Yeah, I did. You wouldn't even <laughs> like. You, you could not imagine. You're gonna believe that so, you're in a vagina. Normally, <laughs> these conversations start when somebody asks, "Would you rather?" It's <laughs> not. It's not yeah. like I'm voluntarily like. I'm offering. Did you hear about that one time, <laughs> Scott? I'm glad your weekend was great, but you know what I'd do? <laughs> uh, <laughs> off the rails. <laughs> oh, this one went down a little quick. Yeah, yeah no. <laughs> so. I, now I, that we've set the tempo for the rest of the show. We didn't even get through an intro. I, I did. I did. I totally did not recommend the podcast to somebody today because I had a school. I had a, uh, a meeting at the school, and my son's taking audio visual class or whatever. And my his teacher asked me about. Oh, he said your son. Your son says you do a podcast. I'm like, yeah. Probably don't listen to it, or anybody in this high school <laughs> should ever listen to it. If you were under the age of 18, we highly recommend that you tune away now. <laughs> <laughs> I did a I did a podcast for school one time for uh, for college well, as one of my our final projects. You had an op, you had a option. You could either do you know um, you could do uh, a podcast or you could do like an infographic or whatever for your final presentation. Everybody was doing infographics because they're like easy, and I was like, oh, podcast. Dude, a fucking podcast is yeah. way easier. Yeah. Yeah. It's easier than like, fucking infographics. Yeah, dude. So that literally, is boring. I called a buddy of mine because it was a criminal justice degree. So like, I, it was I was doing something in that field. So I called a buddy of mine who was a uh, who uh, worked uh, computer forensics for the uh, uh, fucking Border Patrol. And yeah. fucking I interviewed him on the phone on my podcast. And since I already had a podcast at the time, and I was like, fuck, I already have all the setup. Fuck it. Yeah. Fuck. Easy. <laughs> so, easy A. Yeah. I literally, literally, and like, apparently, my podcast has become like the standard that he's freaking like used. That's because for, you're the only one. Something, yeah. Well, there's some other people who did. Did he in the know past, that but... you're Mikey, the talent baby? Yeah, yeah. you better fucking recognize. Yeah, son. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you Google search somebody next time? Figure the fuck out. I'd, 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 I'd have been the lazy route and just turned one in from last week. Here, listen <laughs> yeah. to this one. Right, nice. Which one? Yeah, it was a little this, off topic, this, Scott. Look, uh, I got yeah. 23 of these around. <laughs> turned in the lost episode. What episode are we on, anyways? Does anybody even keep in count? Where are we at? I think uh, about 129. 23? 23? 23. 23. 23. Nice. 23. John, how was your weekend? It was good. Yeah? I went to uh, the same birthday party that Scott went to. Anybody we know? Uh, Leon. Yeah. I don't know if you guys know Leon from the Cigar Night Dude. He's like uh, seven foot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The giant dude. Yeah. Um, Really good. Yeah, it was uh, his birthday. I think it was actually last week sometime or whatever. I don't even know how old he is. But <laughs> yeah. you guys go to Kobe? No, I didn't. Um, <laughs> no, I met you and Leon. And, and <laughs> where the birthday party was at. Yeah. Um, but no, we hung out, smoked a fucking shitload of cigars, and drank a bunch of booze. Um, As you do. Yeah, that's about it. Nice. Sunday Sunday morning's a little rough. Uh, a, little hung- a little hangover. Um, uh, I think I was good. Yeah. I had yeah, some more they, drinks. Oh, you went somewhere else, yeah. <laughs> I had some yeah. of that uh, real moonshine. <laughs> uh, shit, yeah. That shit that'll run your car. Fuck yeah. God, fuck, this is like top fuel dragster shit. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's like last week when we were at that range and that dude was like, yeah, hey, well, I got a still. And, uh, you know, coming out of there the first time, it's... 190 proof. I was like, Jesus Christ, man. That's jet fuel. <laughs> that's, that's what I was drinking. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need to drink that. You can literally run cars off of that yeah, shit. Yeah, or you drink it. It doesn't take much. It does a job. Yeah, right? Yeah. Fucking, last time I drank like pure grain alcohol. Like that. Oh, by the way, there's only like two inches left in that jar. <laughs> yeah. you were, you're were supposed to cut that with something. Not uh, drink it straight, John. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. You, you let me I, down I had, to get the, you, I had to get the taste and the you, flavor right, out yeah. of it so I could figure out what would, well, you know. It's okay. I, I got the other it. three or four <laughs> jars in my house. So. There's no reason. It's, it's not like a challenge. Like it's, no, yeah. I know. Nobody like asked me to drink this. I yeah. did it all on my own accord. <laughs> <laughs> Last time I drank grain alcohol, like that, the house, fucking man. sky changed colors. Like it was just like, it's awful. Yeah. Yeah. No, I was going to cut it with pineapple and, and then I, uh, I drank, I don't know, probably an inch out of it. And I was like, oh, this is actually not that bad. And I like pineapple moonshine. Yeah. Well, it's delicious. because after the yeah. first sip, everything's numb. Oh, exactly. So then suddenly, and like, then you just like, keep drinking it. And then you're bad. hammered. And you're like, oh, oh this is easy. Kind of yeah. like those uh, Marchino cherries, you know. Yeah. 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 A couple of those things. Right as rain, boy. But all right. <laughs> That's I, good for I, what I, ails you. I had a Marine. He was one of my uh, reservists when I was re- teaching the reservist up in Baltimore. And uh, his day job, he was a uh, prison guard. But he fucking so he learned how to make hooch from fucking like the dude the <laughs> fucking like talking to inmates. They like Ugh. basically walked him through and drew him a fucking diagram of how to make like the perfect still. 
And he was like, all right, I'll give it a shot. And the shit he was making was fucking amazing. Yeah. And he was like, dude. And, like, he was like... Good moonshine. The problem is I can't use the guest toilet. Yeah. The... Yeah, you can't, yeah, yeah, you can't be making, can't be making shit or hooch. Yeah. You know, but, I need uh, somebody to put me, some money on my commissary before I can make the next batch. <laughs> <laughs> He'd bring me jars um, of fucking moonshine, like, when he come to drill. And, it, like, one of my... The, the best one he brought me was the fucking pineapple one. Yeah. It was fucking legit, man. It's so good. I, like, Dude, I, I don't drink the shit anymore, man. Last time I drank it, I fucking... Last time I drank apple pie moonshine, we, it was at a cigar shop that we had stayed after. We'd closed. Stayed after and uh, drank this whole fucking jar of apple pie moonshine, me and one other dude, and at the end of it, we had, like, my whole campaign plan and everything for me to run for president. I was like, <laughs> damn right. <laughs> Jesus, fuck. <laughs> like, I told you about my last problem with uh, apple pie moonshine. Yeah. I told you the story. Yeah, but that wasn't the moonshine that did that to you, That buddy. wasn't the moonshine, no. Yeah. <laughs> that was fucking... You're not supposed to drink liquid mushroom. Like, that's yeah. bad. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I can make yeah. apple, like, just re- like the regular apple pie moonshine that... Everyone's like, oh yeah, I make moonshine. Dude, you apple can, pie moonshine. You it's can easy. make you, just make it with Everclear. Yeah, use Everclear. That's yeah. what I always do yeah. every yep. time I make it. Yeah, I mean, just cinnamon sticks, fucking yeah. half and half. No, apple so juice and apple cider. I had this shit because it was so. It was a cigar shop in Virginia, and it was it was there was this guy that would come in out of the mountains, like every ninety days, and he <laughs> would buy five pounds of pipe tobacco from the cigar shop. And uh, he started figuring out that, like, we were taking good care of him and stuff like that. And then he'd fucking come in out of the mountains. He'd buy his pipe tobacco and he started fucking leaving jars of moonshine. So, like, uh. this was the shit that, like, fucking Cletus was making up on the hillside. Sure. And then bringing back down. So, yeah, it wasn't ever clear and you mix some things into it. This shit was. No. Like, I think that's what we got. We got the, some the, West Virginia moonshine. We have, uh, it was made by Jim Tom off the moonshiners. Jim Tom. Mm hmm. I miss the show, so I have like no, you already, no reference. If the dude has two first names... <laughs> That's a good indication. Yeah, the guy could probably make moonshine. He's got a still in his house, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or a meth lab. Yeah. Or both. Well, it's because Uncle Daddy's been <laughs> passing down the family recipe. Well, you know, yeah. sister mom was looking good. That's, yeah. what, that's why he's called Jim Tom. <laughs> Jim Tom. Not like Jim Smith. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Fucking hell. How about you, Jazz? How was your weekend there, bud? It was good, man. Uh, we're in that time of year where I had to go do a little bit of Christmas shopping. Uh, so that was cool. Got some family uh, gifts and stuff squared away, and then uh, spent the rest of the time, man. What fucking Sunday? I had a Christmas party on Sunday. I had to go to with my grandmother and stuff like that. But I think that day, I think it was like ten a.m. Wife came home from the grocery store and she looks at me. She goes, "How's your beer?" And I was like, "I have a beer." <laughs> so <laughs> like ten a.m. we started drinking. Nice. Fucking Christmas party wasn't until like three thirty. Nice. Some shit. Perfect. So we just maintained it. Saturday we did the same thing. We like hit that perfect buzz level. Just maintained it. And just maintained it. Rode the it wave. For, like, oh, it was awesome. Yeah, I like that. It's great. Had to stop and pick up more booze. And I was like, man, hope Specs is doing a tasting. Because I'm starting to come down a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Walked into the Specs and I was like, shit, yeah. There was like four of them. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> jackpot. <laughs> and uh, so on. <laughs> it, was, it was pretty good. Perfect, man. Got my hair cut. Was drinking the whole time I did that. Because the place I go get my hair cut now has uh, four beers on tap. And then a full bar, and it's all free. So essentially, nice. you just nice. hammered the whole fucking time. I wasn't hammered. I did that perfect, like, buzz. functional buzz. It was <laughs> awesome. I like it. Yeah. I, like I, was, it. I was right at uh, bad decision-making buzz. Like, where oh, I was like... I've been there. Like, this is a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just buzzed enough that's giving you energy? It was that. Yeah, I like those. Yeah. Those are all right. Maintained it for, like... I was proud of us. We maintained it for, like, eight hours. So I maintained oh. one of those for about 30 minutes. And then I get hammered. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like, I go zero to sixty like yeah. that. <laughs> it was fucking great, man. That that one started at like eleven o'clock in the morning at fucking Buffalo Wild Wings of all places. Dude, I love me some B dubs. Yeah, but that's not exactly it's not exactly what you think about when you're like, you know what'd be awesome right now? Day drinking. To the B dubs. <laughs> like, right. like, it's not exactly your go to. We kind of ended that up there by accident. depends on where you're at, sir. So, well, uh, <laughs> a friend of mine called me and asked me for some computer advice because he was trying to buy a computer for Christmas for his kids. And uh, he called me and I was like, Where are you? He's like, I'm at the Best Buy. Da, 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 da. I was like, Oh, dude, I'm like literally 100 feet from you. Like, just hold on. Like, I was in the car. <laughs> so I just turned off and went in. And then he was like, What are you doing for lunch? I was like, I don't know. What are you doing for lunch? He's like, There's B dubs right there. I was like, Yeah, all right. He's like, B dubs and beer. And I was like, Right, this sounded better. You're getting there. there. Yeah, you're getting yeah. there. Yeah. A little Caribbean jerk. Mm-hmm. Went to uh, lemon you can pepper get one this of those time. Beatles? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you can. Matter of fact, shit. 
It's one of the <laughs> sloppiest Caribbean jerks you could possibly imagine. <laughs> Heard that's Kobe's favorite flavor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. So, How yeah. was your weekend, Mikey? Mine was all right. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> we're getting there. We're letting, you, Mikey? <laughs> we were letting the Kobe joke marinate like a uh, big Caribbean jerk. Uh, <laughs> any uh, any Santa appearances? <laughs> there was. Yeah, I played Santa again yeah. uh, on Saturday. Yeah, that's why yeah. we didn't ask, man, because we knew it was just going to be like, well, I went and played Santa. Yeah, I'm doing great things for my community. Yeah. <laughs> being an upstanding person. I was out there doing things for people. You fuckers were just all drinking all weekend. And I was, oh, I didn't say I wasn't drinking. I was shit. helping out special needs kids and puppies. Well, you know, I didn't do puppies this week. No, oh, fucking the, the town here had a fucking parade in like the middle of my Santa gig. And like Santa's like driving by on a fucking, on a fucking fire truck. I'm like mean mugging him. I'm like. Did you go out and fight him and be like, this is my blood? Yeah. I should have been like, I should have. I should have been like, that's a fake fucking beard, you fucking poser. <laughs> just fucking Santa territory war has been fucking great. He drives by, I just put on a pair of brass knuckles. Point at him, I'm fucking calling you out, you fake. <laughs> Stolen this, valor. This is my fucking block. <laughs> no, I did that Saturday. Uh, Sunday was fucking low-key. Low-key, I didn't do shit. It was everything I ever wanted it to be. Nice. <laughs> I just did nothing. I, I I took like a fucking. Did, I worked out for like two hours, nice and slow, lifted heavy, and just fucking said fuck it, yeah. and just like you know, wasn't in a rush, didn't have fuck all for an agenda. Then I went to like Walmart in the evening, so it wasn't stupid crowded. <laughs> like, it was like yeah, it was just super fucking chill, man. Yeah, I just fucking I don't do shopping this time of year, man. I just can't do uh, it. I wouldn't do it either. Nah, I mean, there's some like we needed things. fucking groceries. And Caitlin was fucking awesome. Got up, went, worked out. And then left the house and did all the grocery shopping and like fucking left me at home. I was like, this is fucking amazing. You're a good woman. <laughs> yeah, that's good shit. That's good shit. <laughs> Brought her home and was like, she was like, I bought you this huge thing of whole grain goldfish. I was like, Jesus Christ, you're an amazing woman. <laughs> <laughs> I like um, I like grocery shopping. I'm that fucking weirdo. Like, I do too, man. No, like, I, actually, I like going by myself and just slowly. I super, like, I actually, Michelle hates it when I go grocery shopping. I fucking shopping. really yeah. like grocery shopping. I just refuse to go to any sort of like super center type of anything the problem is like you know working working a nine to five yeah it's hard the only like times you can go to the grocery store is when fucking everybody's there yeah and it's why, like god damn it man that's why like, i just don't go because that, that's fucking, that does suck. i'll stab somebody yeah no oh, i carry yeah. <laughs> you, yeah. you do but that's also why i i like i don't go to walmart because i'm like not that i'm anti people fighting but Walmart just makes me believe that I'm going to end up in a knife fight. So I just don't go. Because I'm like, I don't. I'm embarrassed. There is nothing the in Walmart. Of times I've gotten into a fist fight in a Walmart parking lot. Right. I'm embarrassed by that. But many there's times. nothing in Walmart <laughs> worth me going to jail. Like, what fucking Walmart are y'all going well, to? <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, my, to be fair. The, to be fair. To be fair. Huh? Mine was in fucking. Uh, the, the, I haven't had any big problems here. Well, I did have to show my gun that one time here. <laughs> But that was like to prevent a robbery. Then I was just like, stand over there. You don't move. And the guy was like, okay. <laughs> but, uh, Who the um, fuck robbed a Walmart with a knife? Like, seriously. Like, fucking, uh, what the fuck? Fucking you math, can rob, math, man. You can rob a Walmart with polite words. Yeah. That's true. Or a little bit of ingenuity. True. Yeah. Yeah. I guarantee you could pick any item in Walmart and I could walk out without paying for it. Probably. Yeah. That's the fucking, that's the hack and fucking Best Buy, too. You go buy one thing, like at that one of those center kiosks, and they put it in that fucking little clear plastic bag for you. <laughs> you just fucking put anything else on your cart and just walk out. If the dude at the door sees that little clear plastic bag, he's like, oh, looks like you paid for it. Then you fucking truck right out with like, a yeah. full TV. Yeah, it's very true. Fucking take ah, notes. Yeah. Take notes, well, kids. no, no, I know this because... <laughs> don't pay your... Don't pay your inventory retention people minimum wage because no. you're not paying them enough well, to give a fuck. I know <laughs> this because I've like walked out of there having paid for big items. And the guy grabs my receipt, spends a half of a second looking at it, and yeah. hands it back to me. I'm yeah. like, yeah. They're not like them bitches at Costco who right. fucking go line no, no, by no, no, line. No. Yeah. Even there. <laughs> so Costco, my mom got a free TV about two weeks ago. Seriously? Because <laughs> she went in and she got, I don't know, a couple random other things and then a TV. Well, you know how they put the cart on one side and you go on the other when, you're, yep. when they're checking out. And yeah. if it's in the cart, they scan it in the cart. Then they have like checks and balances. So they have like the dude that's actually ringing you out. And then you have like one or two people that you have to pass in order to get out the door. Yeah. And they check all your shit too. Right? She has a fucking 60 inch TV in her cart. She doesn't even know she didn't pay for it, which is the best part. 
She just swiped her card, called it a day, but she was on the phone or something. Walks out, the guy at the door is like, oh, let me see your receipt. Hands the receipt. The guy looks at it, looks at her cart. Here you go, you're good. Goes over to the fucking loading dock, hands a receipt to the guy at the loading dock, say, hey, can you load this in my car? I can't do it myself. The guy's like, yeah, sure, no problem. Looks at the receipt, looks in the cart, hands her the receipt back, puts the TV in the car. Well, that's fucking awesome. <laughs> when uh, when that's I used fucking to, awesome. When I used what to, she do? She, she called, no, she she called fucking... me and she's like, what do I do? Do I go back in and pay? I'm like, fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> so again, three dudes that could have caught yeah. that. And none of them were like, fuck that. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, you know, like when I used to buy booze as a minor, confidence was the key, right? That's yeah, true. I, I didn't even have a fake ID. I gave him my real fucking ID, handed yeah, it to him. beard. <laughs> I don't give a shit. They, they look at it. Handed it right back and let me in 90% of the time. Yeah. 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 That's because motherfuckers rarely look at the date. Yeah. yeah. Well, you got a math. You know? yeah. yeah. Dude, I was buying cigars from humidors at 16 years old. Well, don't say that. Uh, I was. <laughs> Not on the show. It's <laughs> <laughs> fucking He was doing 20 this one years in Mexico. Ago, man. Yeah, in Mexico. In Mexico, he was yeah. doing that. But, uh, well, you guys are e-com, so. Yeah, we, we still have to verify every... Yeah, but you can do that now. Yeah, Back yeah. then, man, I'd fucking just walk in and, like, I was reading the Rob Report because they had all the car articles in there. But then they'd have that fucking cigar section in the middle of it, too. So I'd just, like, walk in and, like, ask with confidence and specifically for, like, two or three of these fucking cigars. And they'd be like, yep, they're right here. And then they just fucking ring me up, send me out the door. Nice. And it was, like, unfucking believable. Yeah. I remember it was fucked up because I joined the Marines at, like, 17. So, like, I couldn't buy cigarettes for, like, the first, like, almost year I was in. Yeah. You know, I like, found that USAA credit card got me a long way too, and I well, fucking threw it on the USAA <laughs> bank card. That got me a lot of like, like a lot of leeway in high school. The day I finally turned eighteen, I go into the PX to buy a pack of smokes, and they're like, "Yep, have a good day." And I'm like, yeah, "Don't even card you." Are you fucking yeah. serious? <laughs> like, like, when I turned eighteen, I was yeah. in Minnesota. I did the same thing. I, yeah. went out, I was like, waited till like midnight. And I'm like, "Fuck yeah!" Went down to the gas station, I'm like Marlboro Reds. I'm like, here you go. Thanks. Have a good one. Yeah. Like, you're not gonna card me? I'm like, I don't know. Do I need to? I'm like no, I'm fucking eighteen. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Bullshit. Well, like fucking, and then the same thing happened to me when I turned twenty-one. I was like, you know, I went fucking walk into a bar. I remember I was I, I had taken leave to get divorced. <laughs> I had to file for divorce, and because uh, I filed for divorce the day before I turned twenty-one. Ah, <laughs> smart move. That's military for you. <laughs> it's win some, you lose some. So, uh, and I remember I walk into a like a local watering hole in Farmington, New Mexico. And the, and the bartender's like, what did I get you? And I don't remember what I ordered. Probably something stupid because I was 21. Can I get you a know, Harvey Wallbanger? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> probably, something, probably something fucking dumb. And uh, Thank you. Sir. And uh, they were like, yeah, poured it up, handed it to me. And I just looked at my buddy. I was like, ain't that a bitch? <laughs> it was like, they get nothing. Like, to be fair, nobody carded you when you got married either. That's true. I didn't get carded on my 21st. Fucking, and all these people took me out. Shit, like rented the limo and everything took me out. When I ordered my first drink, they were like, here you go. And I was like, this is bullshit. Like, <laughs> but I mean, granted, I was in Texas anyways. And this is a, that whole right to serve state. So like if the Guardian says like, I, yeah. could, I can even yep. find a bar. My you can serve him. Birthday. Like they'll serve I, you. Know, I, I was drinking in a bar. So I joined the yeah, National right. Guard when yeah. I was. Yeah. <laughs> that was my 23rd. My, I joined the National Guard my, my junior year. And we'd always have like final formation at, at the local bar. Right. And so, not literally, but like that's what we called it. So we'd yeah. all all show up at the bar after drill, but we'd all be in uniform. Fucking so nerds. It's just it was a block away. Fuck Marines just, hate that shit. Yeah, you guys hang out in your goddamn cami. Oh, we fucking hate that shit. Well, you're not supposed to drink it. And you get fucking upgraded on every fucking flight because you're wearing your fucking uniform. Meanwhile, I'm sitting there like. Watching the PFC walk to first class, I'm like, you fucking cunt. So I'm not allowed to wear my shit. <laughs> like, it fucking mattered fuck. Oh, that is a point of resentment that Marines have against the Army. To be buddy? fair. Yes, dude. It fucking hurts <laughs> the shit out of us. To, be, to be fair, that's when I was in the National Guard. No. Active duty, we didn't really ever. Let all the hate out. Yeah. Like, you don't hold it back. Don't <laughs> hold it in. <laughs> but, uh, but they got to know me because I drank every one weekend a month, every fucking time there. And then when I turned 21, I... Or, you know, then I just started going there and not being 21, and they just knew me. So yeah, yeah, it worked out. It was the best part is when like you go to a bar that you went, went that you like had a fake ID and used to go to, and then when you turn 21, they go in there and they card you, and they're like, <laughs> "What the fuck? Your name changed." It's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're a fuck, you're a felon. <laughs> You've been serving me for years. You fuck. <laughs> yeah.
So why don't you just go ahead and wipe out that tab, and I won't tell anybody that you've been serving me liquor for the last three years. How about that? I had my older brother's fucking military ID when I was 19 years old. Oh, man. I had my buddy in Alaska's brother's ID, and he was like 5'7", with black hair and green eyes, and it worked for like a year and a half. My older brother was born in 1973. I was born in 1982. He That's is close. substantially older than me. So they believed that a 19-year-old kid was like 20 fucking eight. <laughs> and wow. Like fucking. And I remember I walked into. Maybe you lived a rough life, man. Yeah. yeah I don't know right? if you age well or, uh, or what. Oh, <laughs> Mikey's aging in reverse. Fuck, I wish, man. <laughs> Get that Benjamin Button shit going on. Thank God. That, wouldn't that be great? I hope it affects my hair. <laughs> I hope eventually like, I die with a full head of, like, a full head of hair. <laughs> Like all of a sudden I hit 40 and my hair's back. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, um, but yeah, I remember I was like, I was home on uh, recruiter's assistance. I'd gotten the recruiter's assistance to go help the recruiters for a month when I was a corporal. I was like 19. And my brother had given me his fucking army reserve uh, ID because he was national guard. And this was the old pink ones yeah. that had like the, the picture that looked like it was just stuck on there. Then laminated they over. They literally were. Yeah, that's all that's, it was. It looks like that because that's exactly, that's exactly what, what they were. It was, it was just yeah. a black and white picture. My brother and I look fucking nothing alike and it worked. Yeah, every but in all fairness, time. Nobody looks like that picture. Yeah, Once they true. print that bitch and put it on the ID. Yeah. Uh, you, no. no. Yeah. The yeah. best part about those old IDs is the only thing on the front of it was name and rank. Yep. An expiration date. On the back was all your pertinent information. So all we did is we went down to the PX and yeah. we, we bought a laminate a Fuck lamination yeah. machine. Photocopied it. And shit. we photocopied one the, the, the back one, of one the dude. One dude. <laughs> yep, we all did it. Yep. <laughs> and relaminated everybody's fucking license. Life hack. Well, so IDs. somebody got caught out in town with that shit. It was when I was in fucking uh, SOI. Somebody got caught out in town because it, it had fucking folded up a little bit and the guy fucking was like Oh, real nice. <laughs> and they got caught because they kept this fucking ID because they're supposed to keep fake IDs. Yeah. Technically, that's a fake or an altered ID, and they turn it into the cops. So they end up fucking throwing us all in fucking formation. Everybody's like, rip the fucking thing off your IDs. We're all sitting there like, fuck, 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 <laughs> fuck, 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 like ripping it off and shit. And they come out and they checked all of our IDs, and I handed them mine. And it was like, you could tell it where it was sticky. like, it was like melted, <laughs> you know, from like me ironing it together. <laughs> and shit. So it was like, like, looks like he tried. Why is your ID all fucked up? I was like, oh, it was in my pocket when I ironed my Cammy's staff sergeant. He was like, sure it was. Lots, <laughs> was like, Lots of starch. Sorry. Prove it, motherfucker. If he'd have looked, yeah. in, if he'd have looked in this smart cargo pocket, he'd have found <laughs> the back of another dude's ID. <laughs> <laughs> so that shit just came off like while I was standing in that formation. But yeah. <laughs> All the loopholes. Yeah. You know, we're such role models. I'm just yeah, glad right? that I'm not. That's how you learn, though. Dude. Yeah, yeah, it's true. You know, I mean, it's how you learn. True. We yeah. sit here in our 30s, or well, most of us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Look at Pop Pop over here. Fuck you. <laughs> here. Think of it this way: by the time your kids, by the time your grandkid is old enough. You'll have forgotten all these fucking stories anyways. So yeah, this podcast can act like a storybook. That's true. As to what Pop Pop was like before he That's lost true. his memory. Because <laughs> it's out there. Yeah. So by the time the grandson's like four or five, he'll have something to like actually get to know you with. It's true. <laughs> He's got your nestle. Huh? Yeah. Casserole. <laughs> <laughs> you damn kids. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh man, <sighs> fucking Mondays, dude! I think I shit myself. Fucking Mondays. I think, I think we had a pretty good Monday. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I seriously think I have like a subtle like third degree burn on the side of my neck. It's not third degree. It's probably it's probably maybe a, well, my, mine doesn't hurt anymore, so it's probably like a first. It stings. Well, sorry. Yeah. The heat bloom off that thing was pretty fucking pretty serious. Muzzle blast, man. Yeah, you know was, we're doing we're doing a married person conversation right now. Think, yeah. Let's let's glue the group. I don't think you can call <laughs> heat that comes off a flamethrower muzzle blast. Yeah. I don't think that's the right term for <laughs> so, that. It's a muzzle? Yes. It's so a muzzle, right? So that, I don't know what else you call it. So that the audience knows I what we're talking about. Mikey and I got to play with the flamethrower today. Yeah. And Thanks it was the invite, asshole. You were invited. <sighs> you just fucking told cocked. where. So you didn't show up at nine thirty this morning, or... like I said. The rollout time was no. no. Yeah, we didn't even hear that. That's what you were told Friday. It's not my fault that you fucking get hammered. And these and guys invited me up. I asked. No, when we were leaving, I was like, I think the, the, the last we were told oh. was, "We'll tell you time and location." Yeah, yeah, I told you that on the Facebook group, and no, then I told we, you no, it's no, zero nine thirty range. Yeah, I told you Friday at the range. 
Yeah. We're rolling well, at zero nine thirty on Monday. Well, I didn't hear that. Yeah, well. Well, I come in this morning. See, this is how reliable John is. Uh, because I, I think I left probably before you said that. Maybe. No, because you left right before I zeroed my 6.5. Yeah. And they left before that. Oh, so they okay. left before yeah. you did. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> he was told. Yeah, but, yeah, he you, didn't relay. Well, yeah. I walked in I walked in today and I'm like, hey, we're going to go to the range. And he's like, oh, it rained out. It probably got canceled. Oh, okay. Nobody I mean, told it, me was, shit. it was shitty this morning. <laughs> <laughs> off, so we went out there <laughs> and uh, had to do some flamethrower work. And uh, we thought we had this brilliant idea. It sounded right. And then yeah. when we looked On at paper, it, we were like, it looked fantastic. <laughs> we're, looking at, we're looking at it and we're then like, Then we started this putting the situation fucking, together. Like, this and I'm standing stupid. there looking at fucking Mikey going, like, this is a terrible fucking idea. Yeah, we're done. Like, why are we doing this? Were, we're you gonna Were you gonna shoot this. it from the moving yeah, apparatus? That yeah, that was the original plan. That would have been terrible. That would, you would have burned legs. Your legs would have. Yeah. See, I, <laughs> I tried to. Or have fallen. Or you would have tipped over. <laughs> oh yeah, that would yeah. Been terrible. Yeah. Yeah. I tried to no. do a, a stage at a, a shooting match that we put on, where it's pretty much the same thing. You had to pull your partner in a red rider red rider wagon, and he shot from the wagon at the targets. Yeah. And I was like, oh, can't do that. And I'm like, cool, let's get like a four wheel. And the other guy just faces backwards. I can't do that. Well, and like, I'm trying to think of anything that we can do. And no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, how about you walk? <laughs> <laughs> so, we settled to where he was going to dismount and then fire. And uh, he was behind it. So, it wasn't, I think, quite as bad. But I was at like. 30 degrees to the fucking jet that was coming out of the front of the flamethrower. Yeah. yeah he was, so the he heat bloom that's coming off of it. He was just sitting like, about four or five o'clock at just it. cooked at like the whole side of my face and neck and stuff. It was, it was a... Makes you cringe at what a direct hit would feel like. It, yeah. Oh, wow. I think it would burn a little. Yeah. Considering that we it pretty much <laughs> melted that steel frame on the inside of that thing. Yeah. It was pretty rowdy. And you only hit it for like three seconds. And there was no there was nothing left. Yeah. Like it took it apart. <laughs> yeah. It's bad. Yeah. And uh, we're, we're speaking cryptic because it's not r- really public knowledge yet about Yeah, the what media we did. hasn't been released yet on what we did with it. Yeah. Friday. That's why but, uh, yeah, yeah Friday. wait till Friday. Wait till Friday. Friday. Tune in Friday. And uh, and that was a whole like ground style, warfighter tobacco. All freedom the freedom friend. friends were there, yeah. kind of. Yeah, it's a world kind Ridiculous of. soiree. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> soiree. It was a soiree. It was quite good. And uh, so yeah, so we put the we buttoned up that today. Nice. And uh, but yeah, we got to spend some range time with you guys on Friday. Yeah, was Friday. Friday was fun. So yeah, shout out to AR five hundred steel targets, man. Those guys yeah, are for, fucking uh, great. And now just essentially giving us an open invite. Yeah. So they they do great. have a four hundred and eighty five meter range at their other location. Nice. So yeah, I know you guys like a little bit more distance on your targets. So that was uh, they've got four eighty five out there. So. I got to shoot out to it today. It was nice. 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 Yeah. But uh, you hear that thwap off in the distance. It's yeah. like, hey, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good time. It was a nice place. And uh, the dude that runs it out there, uh, what was it called? RDI, Real Defense Inc. or whatever it was. Real Defense Industries. Indust- whatever it is. Yeah. And uh, Realistic Defense or some shit. Real Defense. Ah, oh, fuck. I don't know. <laughs> it's RDI. Yeah. yeah, RDI. Real Defense. Thank you, Producer Rob, for squaring me away. Oh, speaking of Producer Rob. Uh-oh. Anybody? Uh, it, it wasn't his. Oh, it's right there. It wasn't, it wasn't his. his. And whose was it? Yeah, well, he's trying to blame my fucking wife. The fingers are getting thrown all over. I the place. know. So now we got three of them. <laughs> Just bring it home for somebody. Her. Just bring it home for. So, her. I'm yeah. bringing a skunky ass beer in my car. Not fucking happening. So somebody decided to leave a half drunk shiner in the studio a couple of weeks ago. But you can see those of you watching at home. Yeah, they, they, they were nice <laughs> enough to put it back in the fridge. So that was. But it definitely wasn't Caitlin that would have put it back in the fridge. What was she going to do? Save it for later? <laughs> she comes what once a month. I, it's like my children. Nobody will fess up. I don't know. I know. Mm. This so. this doesn't matter. All I know <laughs> is that we were all sitting here, not at the table, and it was found. Th- those people were drinking beers. We were not. I don't I don't drink beer in a podcast, so there's that. What do you mean? You Actually, can't. I don't. Th- I can't even remember the last time I drank a beer in the shop. No, it's been a while. I, yeah, I haven't had a beer. I've never had a beer on the show. Mm. Uh oh. I don't think so. No, nope, I take that back. One time, the first show, like the very very first show, you drink a fucking like a pat like a PBR. Oh yeah, uh-huh. that's right. 
Yeah. So the very first show, I think I had a PBR. Yeah. And then, Classy beer. Do you guys like PBR? Because I do. They sell actually. cases of 999. No, it's 99. It's the family pack. 99? No, it's, <laughs> there's 999. Oh, I know there was a shop in Minnesota case. that had a 99 pack of PBR. It looked hilarious. And it was 99, it was 99 beers for 59.99. Uh, 60 bucks for 100 This one beers. was like... It's not bad. This one was Fuck from no, like dude. Peter Rob. Like, yeah, that's yeah. the 99 family that's 99? pack. 99? Yeah. Okay. It's the family pack, and it was at one shop in... Like Minnesota or some shit in this tiny little town. It was ninety nine beers for like fifty nine ninety nine, and they apparently sold out in like the first half an hour. It was <laughs> oh, done. Wait, how many do they have? Cool. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, because I wanted one, but it was the family pack, ninety nine beers. Yeah. I just like you they know, called it the you, family pack. And you want to get the kids involved? Why not? Shit. Shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Speaking of getting the kids involved, what are we smoking on? <laughs> 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 what do you got over there, Jess? What are I'm you just going to let that one <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I don't even have a good comeback for that. I'm just going to let that one go. <laughs> I'm uh, smoking the uh, Warfighter Tobacco uh, uh, Field 50. Mm. Me too. Are you? Are we twinning? We are, we're, we're twinning. We're fucking twinning, buddy. Oh, look at that. Yeah. I actually went with Later, your... we're going to touch tips. It's going to be yeah. awesome. I went with your go-to, man. I went with the, uh, the Garrison solid, 556, man. the uh, it's Corojo. totally solid. Yeah. Pepper and spice. A little yeah. bit. A little, <laughs> a little pepper, a little pepper and spice. Yeah. A little everything nice. It's quite yeah. good. Yeah, I'm a fan. And I got the 762 Garrison, the Rosato. Yeah, I went with the 50 cal because I wanted a darker flavor because I knew I was drinking that fucking that whiskey, and I really wanted to taste the whiskey, so I didn't want to have too much power in the, too much spice in the cigar, but I didn't mind some power on the... The backy. <laughs> the tobacco. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So that's what. Uh, that's a comprehensive plan for a cigar. Fucking am. You got to think through these things. Yeah. yeah. You got to make the right choices. Yeah. If you pick the wrong know. cigar. I haven't had a single one of your cigars that tastes bad with booze, man. <laughs> Besides, I figured if I went long You're and dark, welcome. I was just practicing for Kobe. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there he is. <laughs> Kobe, give us money. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, fucking full circle. We don't have a cigar big enough for. <laughs> nah, shit. Bet you they make it beat you to death with it. <laughs> <laughs> fucking ridiculous. It's gonna look just like Justin's Christmas present. Are we going back? Oh yeah, Justin's got a big black cock coming to him. <laughs> yeah. It's my Christmas gift for him. Yeah. Giant fucking dick. Nice, huge dick. Fucking 20 inches. It's actually has the modeled sack at, on it so it stands up on its own. It's actually modeled after the dude that Jazz encountered on his stairs in yep. his last apartment. <laughs> <laughs> had it molded of him in prison. <laughs> that dick has a rap sheet. <laughs> as long as my arm. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, folks. That was a dad dick joke. Uh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Just what fuck, man. That's hard to beat. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Can't beat it. What a bet. <laughs> Give me a dollar. Oh, shit. <laughs> Give me a million. <laughs> <laughs> All right, new topic. Somebody needs a topic here. Yeah. We're, uh, uh, we're stretching this one out a little long. Well, it's time for a show no it, shit story. Yeah, yeah. So no shit. Who did it last time? Uh, I know two uh, times ago Mikey did it. <laughs> I think we're still recovering. Yeah. 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 Last time there was a, the. Uh, an I'm, t- I'm, I'm, I'm taking a couple weeks off from Sono shit. Well, uh, <laughs> last time the Sono shit started with some sort of weird married couple story yeah. that happened over here. Yeah. Oh, that was the so that was part of Sono shit. Yeah, because oh. yeah, she was shit. supposed to tell a story about her barracks party, which turned into fucking dead people. Yeah. Like that thing went yeah. off the rails real fucking quick. Yeah. Well, Scott and I were a little inebriated. Uh-huh. Slightly. <laughs> you know, slightly. A lot slightly of things inebriated. went off the rails that night. Yeah. yeah. You know, I learned something crazy uh, yesterday is that Camp Kinzer, which is a uh, Marine camp in Okinawa, um, fucking had to get evacuated. They had to like evacuate uh, and displace a bunch of fucking people out of this area because they found a, a UXO from World War II when they were doing some renovations to a building there that hadn't blown up, right? Yeah. And uh, they showed on the map where it was at. It's right at the fucking E-Club where I spent fucking 
collectively days <laughs> of my life fucking drinking like on the patio right there having fucking gin and tonics and shit like right there like nice and i was uh, a friend of mine she's over there right that now that redefines irish car bomb yeah <laughs> Fucking for real, <laughs> <laughs> fucking for real. I remember they didn't have Jameson in the tr- in the tri mod there, so I was like, it was like the it was like the spring of fucking Crown Royal for me. It was like it was like my go to because I, I, they didn't have any Jamo, and they did, but it was like barely ever there. Like yeah. it ran out like the first night they had it. So there was no Irish. So you went Canadian. It's the closest thing they had to fucking. It was that or Jack Daniels, which to me is yeah. dirt fucking yeah, whiskey. I fucking hate Jack Daniels. Yeah, it just tastes like butthole. Like, People can have its. <laughs> it's not even like hot whatever, shade butthole. Oh, it's, it's like an American hairy legend man-ass. or whatever. It's an American legendary piece of shit. Yeah, that shit. <laughs> it tastes like butthole. <laughs> it's made in a fucking Daniels. place where they're Jack not Daniels allowed give to us taste money. it. Yeah, <laughs> and it shows. That's why it's fucking awful. It's because nobody there can taste it. It's yeah. just like, well, fuck, we think it's good. <laughs> it's not at all. It's fucking terrible. But if you give us thousand dollars, we'll give you a square foot of land here. You can be a Jack Daniels property owner. Yeah. Tell you what, how about you take all those thousands of dollars people have given you and make a fucking whiskey that doesn't taste like ass? Yeah, right. They <laughs> tried to do it with Gentleman's Jack, and that's still boo boo. Like, yeah, it's like Gentleman they... Jack just becomes like, oh, this isn't as shitty. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when people try to describe anything as it's not that bad. I'm like, yeah, but you didn't say it's pretty good either. You're just like, <laughs> right? it's not that bad. Well, the single barrel's the most tolerable. Yeah. Okay, yeah. but that's like. Me flicking you in the dick is more tolerable to me than just straight out hoofing you in the sack. Like, <laughs> you still don't want either one. <laughs> like, that's, uh. that's not an argument. Like, you'd be like, it's not that bad. It doesn't instantly make me want to fucking shit my pants. Like, <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah, but I learned, I learned that there's a fucking... Like, you know, I was just thinking, I was like, man. Jack Daniels was made bitch for Northeastern like, people whose wardrobes like, are 90% out. hoodies <laughs> Jack, and haven't gotten a haircut in Jack years. Daniels is made for Coca-Cola. No. Coke Bacardi was fucking, made for Coca-Cola. Yeah, okay. Dude, Coke cleans car batteries. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, fucking... It'll dissolve a steak in like four days. Yeah. It'll dissolve coke, a nail. You know? Yeah. Like, <laughs> fuck, Jack man. Daniels is for people that still lament the loss of the pump high top. <laughs> Those are like, so cool. Jack Daniels drinkers still drive IROC Z's. <laughs> oh, easy, buddy. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Out of all the sneakers the that you own, you don't have any pumps? No, no, I do not. Because they're useless. They're know. collectors. I don't know. I would rock. A, I would rock pumps right yeah, now. I would, too. I would probably rock some pumps. You'd also drink Jack. Daniels. I would also that drive IROC Z. <laughs> a pumps. Jesus, fuck. A 1989 God. IROC. Fuck yeah. yeah, buddy. And a jean jacket. Only if it had T tops. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you'd have to have the T tops. That have been replaced because the last three sets got stolen. It was funny. I used to walk in and there was this bartender in that in that e club, didn't speak a fucking lick of English, so I basically had him trained to where if I went, he would make my drink. <laughs> <laughs> so I'd be like, let me get a, and he'd be like, who? I'd be like, there it is. <laughs> 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 Sounds like every army uh, enlisted club. But we were making we were making we were making fun of the army. What started is there was a soldier there one day, and we were like, "Who?" Because we we had asked him a question. He was like, "Who?" And we were like, "Stop that! Right now. <laughs> fucking stop that, dude! You're gonna get made fun of really bad." And then somebody was like, "Did you just say fucking who?" And I was like, "It's too late. You're fucked." <laughs> you see what you've done, dude. You just said that shit on a marine base. You are fucked, homie. You see what you've done. <laughs> In all fairness, you shouldn't say that shit on an army base. Yeah, like, right. Like, or if you're retired for oh even two minutes, you yeah. should not say that anymore. I had an I had if a you say guy. it after AIT, you're just fucking wrong. Like, I, and you you're know, only saying it there because you're kind of we were required to say it. And I, and I you know, like. In my mind, I I made I made it mean fuck you, and so I I kind of said it all the time. Okay, so you would just be like they, they'd be like you need to go do this. Huh. And yeah, meant, I would do in that. my mind. It meant fuck you. Yeah, yeah, I would do that where I'd walk and be like, "That's a big huh, sergeant." <laughs> but I'd like turn around and walk off, and yeah, it's like, "What yeah. are you doing? I'm complying." Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, that's kind of like how, what the Marines started saying "ra" instead of "ura." Like, Isn't that where yut came from though? Yut is, is also, essentially just it's basically like like the NCO is making fun of the they junior tell you enlisted. something you're just like rah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yep, I'm going. Yeah. yeah, but it was funny. I just walk in, this old Japanese dude. He'd see me and he'd be like, "Who? 
I'll be like, yeah, who? <laughs> <laughs> that made my drink this. <laughs> You're the man, dude. <laughs> fucking awesome. He liked me because I tipped. Because it's not customary to tip in, uh, in Japan. But I But fucking, everybody likes money. Yeah. Every, yeah. I don't, yeah. Give, like, I don't give a fuck Just who you are. He yeah. worked in an American fucking f- who facility. Are. Oh, who what, are. what branch says who you are? <laughs> who you are? <laughs> Coast Guard. <laughs> Arkansas National Guard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> who you are? <laughs> <laughs> Straight out of West by God, Virginia. Way to go, Joe Feces. Oh, fucking, what's his fuck? Cletus. The fucking, fucking Cletus. The fucking. <laughs> fucking Jethro from Friday. <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous. The fuck was that shit? <laughs> You can come out here and shoot anytime you want to, but if I see your feet stop moving, we got a problem. Because you ain't moving, you're a target. Yeah, I was like, okay, three percenter. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking three percenter. You see there, three percenter. Yeah. No, it's called cover and concealment. If you see me moving, it's me trying to hide behind something. Well, I was good at join, but never mind. Yeah, yep. I, get it. I got I'm it, man. I'm good. Yep, I'm all good. I don't need to hear that one. It's cool. It's cool. <laughs> Wasn't somebody supposed to tell us no shit? <laughs> <laughs> basically did. Jesus Christ <laughs> yeah, yeah we'll chalk that up as Mikey's <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, been yeah. Yeah. it's been a hell of a Monday folks it's been a long fucking hell day of a people. fucking Monday man well Already? fuck boys it's Monday yeah. <laughs> I kind of have is. a so no shit story Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah. there it is uh, yeah. a little late you. to the party but uh, I, fuck it did I tell about when uh, when Moosh got arrested in Nashville hmm I don't know anybody well, named Moose, okay, so I'm going to go with no. Perfect. Is this before or after he got ran over? After. Well, you should you should preference it with should the ran over. Should I preference it yeah, with the, okay. with the so, ran over? Our buddy Moose, uh, Moose is his last name. Uh, we called him Moose or Mushmouth or whatever. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, prior to said incident, uh, he talked just like anybody else. After the incident, it talked like he had a mouthful of mashed potatoes. <laughs> Uh, but what happened was we were doing a <laughs> we were doing a layout in front of our company area, and this and, is uh, what three weeks after nine eleven. Yeah, not maybe. Yeah, yeah. And um, and the way our company area was set up is it was a kind of a long building, but the grass area there was a T intersection, and that T like if there wasn't that grass, that the T part of the road would have went straight through in front of our company area. And this is a hundred meters away. Yeah, probably more than that. Yeah, this is at the other end of the building. It's probably two hundred, two yeah, probably two hundred yards away. There's giant green like ten by ten electrical boxes like scattered and sprinkled all right. around the grass. An obstacle course, uh, obstacle course, ropes. There's all kinds yeah. of shit, right? And there's like one little like snaky little path in order to get through all of this. Uh, so we're sitting there uh, doing a layout, and everybody's got all their shit fucking sprawled everywhere, and here comes this fucking vehicle. Blows right through the fucking stop sign, zigzags through everything. Dodge pickup. A dodge pickup. Um, misses everybody except for Mouche and runs over Mouche's head and then crashes into HHC's. Uh, like over, like we're having a layout. So all of our gear runs over all of our gear. Yeah, all the gear. Like we're all scattering because it's coming, you know. Runs over Mouche and crashes into HHC's stairs to their company area. Right? So you got probably, I don't know, 40 extremely pissed off infantrymen. That are now trying to rip this fucking car apart. Three weeks after 9-11. Right. Because we don't know what the fuck's going on. So we're trying to get into this car. Luckily, somebody there is a little bit calmer than the other 40 dudes. uh, And realizes that there's medically something wrong with the person inside the car. So they kind of figure out a way to not have everybody just tear this dude apart. As they open the door and figure out what was wrong. I think long story short, I think the guy had like a, a stroke. stroke or yeah. something. He was an See, old, that would have been older retired. He'd like removed an arm and beat him to death. Well, he, right? he was an older retired guy, but yeah, he he fucked our shit up. Yeah, like it, he, yeah. Um, so See, that old man strength, man, you can't fucking underestimate that shit. So Mouche had his his mouth wired shut for fucking ever. I can't even remember how long it was. Yeah, but it was forever. Um, but uh, and he's still still in the guard. I think he's what a fucking E eight. Oh, he retired now. Oh, he's retired. Yeah, now? I think he retired. Um, it still sucks. But yeah, but uh. <laughs> So fast forward, I don't know. So could you do an impression of what he talked like after? Oh, dude, it's been so long. I can't. I can't uh, even remember. Just mumbled. Yeah, that just, was it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so fast forward, probably I don't know, a year and a half after this, maybe. Yeah, because this is before we got we deployed, and uh, so we're down in Nashville partying our asses off one night, and uh, 
my myself and my buddy Corey are sitting on across the street from this club that we used to frequent all the time. And it's probably like 2.30 in the morning. It's way after the bar closed, everything like that. And we just got some fucking shit food somewhere and we're trying to figure out what's next. And uh, the security guy, Bouncer, walks out from the club across the street. And he's like, uh, it's kind of, you know, muffled because it's downtown ways away. Sure. Anybody know Wade Mouché? <laughs> Corey looks at me. He's like, do we know a Wade Mouché tonight? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh yeah, fuck it. Yeah, we do. <laughs> so we go over there, and the bouncer proceeds to tell us a story about how uh, Moosh decides he wanted to get into a fight in the bar. He does a pretty good job handling himself. And then uh, the bouncer snag, snag him up, and they bring him all the way downstairs, down this hallway, and put him in this office in a handcuff. Now, mind you, there's also six police officers, and I don't even know how many security guards that are in this place, right? Somehow, Moosh makes it past all of them out onto the main street and runs still handcuffed like probably four <laughs> blocks down the street and jumps into the back of my buddy's pickup truck <laughs> figuring like I'm fine. I got this nobody saw where I went well there's a dude in handcuffs running down the street so like the security guards and the police officers and everybody just casually like watched where he ran and walked <laughs> down there and Flash, <clears throat> Mr. Mushake, please get out of the vehicle. <laughs> 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 they brought him back up there. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, so they uh, they released him to us, uh, which I don't know why the fuck, yeah, but either. they released him to us, and, uh, and then we got him back to Fort Campbell. <laughs> and, uh, I don't even Christ. know what happened to him. I don't know if he got I cleared of the charge. Trouble. I don't think anything happened, really. I think they were impressed, <laughs> like, oh, fuck, you were in handcuffs and got away. Like, we saw where you went, obviously, but. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> I mean, what are you gonna do? Are you? You just made it through all of us. We're the ones that look like assholes, right? <laughs> <laughs> you just cleared the whole We're crew. Gonna... <laughs> <laughs> like, fucking, it's kind of impressive. Yeah. Shit, I just stood there and watched him do. But like, I think the funniest part job, is he, man. Just, he ran down the street, jumped in the back of the truck, and the cops were just like, "Were they? Were, were they really? Was he cuffed behind him or in front of him? Behind him." Oh yeah. So he's like laying like face down with his hands cupped in the back of the <laughs> truck, and the cops like, "Come on, dude." <laughs> Sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. Hey man, at least he went for it. Yeah, I you, mean, know? you know, you you miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't take. That's right, dude. I, I respect that shit. <laughs> Fucking a. He didn't oh, yeah. miss that one. <laughs> well, fuck, boys. Yeah. I think on that note. Yeah. What did we learn tonight? We learned uh, don't run when you're handcuffed. Yeah. Uh, Kobe's got a huge dick. It's huge. <laughs> and so black. And uh, <laughs> don't stand in the heat room of a flamethrower. That shit hurts. That does hurt. Yeah. 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 Don't drink half a shiner and put it back in the fridge. Yeah, don't yeah. do that. That's not no cool. No alcohol abuse. That's just not so, cool. So lessons were learned. It was a tamer episode tonight, but... It's still funny. I like it. But yeah. we're going to continue on to the next episode. And we we're are. already pre-gamed. That's true. Yep, so we're pre-gaming a little bit, and then... Uh, if you're listening to this on Tuesday, the 17th of December, yeah. 2019, uh, just know that the following episode is especially not even fucking close to live because we're preloading <laughs> that one because it's Christmas week. <laughs> yeah. So uh, oh, we're pre-gaming for that episode now. Yeah. So, uh, and if you found this late, uh, button up, Buttercup, because we're going to talk about the holidays and all the things that you hold holy. That's so, right. Uh, <laughs> strap in and strap on, because it's Woo! about to get real fucking rowdy in here. Zero spit, zero lube. Might even rub sand on it. We don't know. Mm. <laughs> Blood lube if you try hard enough. Yeah. Coming in dry. That's right. Bite That's right. Cool. So on that note. Hey, anything's a dildo <laughs> if you're brave enough. I would like to thank you boys for being my freedom friends. Ah. Thanks, fellas. Salud. Freedom. <laughs> so uh until next time we'd like you to smash like share uh fuck whatever else you do with those buttons at the bottom did i miss anything yeah yeah tell right. your fucking friends yeah, yeah. Tell God your friends. Damn it. maybe if you want to talk want us to talk about like something freedom, send, something a, like send an email yeah send an email freedom friends podcast at gmail.com or or a pm or any of that kind of shit yeah, yeah. 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 or on freedom our facebook and stuff like that and uh yeah, yeah. but send us a no, so no shit story we'll tell it for you We'll even embellish it a little bit so that you sound like more of a badass than you think you are. Yeah, we'll add in our own commentary. Yeah, yeah. it'll be in fucking parts. great. We'll ask yeah. questions. We'll probably make fun of you. Yeah, we'll, we'll ask lunch, questions about the story and let other people's answer for you. Yeah, it'll be fucking great. Yeah, absolutely. So, we'll, make like up, we'll make up your own stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be awesome. So like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Fucking and until nice. next time, smoke on, drink on, and Mikey. You freedom the fuck on, everybody. That's what I'm fucking talking about. We'll see you all later.